Welcome to track number 10 of the Mysteries of God. Now, one of the great blessings in the ministry is the blessing of opportunity to help. Yes. And mysteriously, helping is not as dependent on finances as it is on the ad- opportunity to finance. I don't, I don't know if you... you I, I want to say that again. Because I'm getting to the fundraising mode now. <laughs> I'm saying that mysteriously, mysteriously, when I say mysteriously, like surprisingly, the problem or the, the greater or the more difficult thing is the, to get the opportunity to be involved in something is more of a mysterious and difficult thing rather than the money. You see, you know why? Because God does not need money. And His work does not need you. You need God. (laughs) I mean, have you thought about it? Who needs who? Think about it. Who needs who? Huh? Who who needs who? Huh? We need God. And God doesn't need us. It couldn't be that God needs us. Really, God really needs us. Yeah. God needs us. In fact, okay, we will allow God. You get it? No. That is not what it is. It is you needing the Lord. So Paul said, you sent unto me your care for me. It was somewhere and your care for me has flourished again. Do you understand? Only that you know that you didn't care, but you lacked the chance of the opportunity and the occasion and the purpose and the reason to be helpful again. Amen. Amen. And so one of the things that is the greatest blessing of all is to have something to give to. Those who supported Oral Roberts years ago, today they do not have Oral Roberts to support anymore. Because there's no more or a Robert in that way anymore. Are you there? Yeah. Yeah. So, if in your lifetime you are honored to be growing up and become a rich person or have something and you are close to or a Robert somehow and you have the ability to help him, then you are blessed that you were one of the people around and ready and able you understand to help our robert now there was even an our robert around you to help at that time of your life it's one of the greatest blessings of all is to have the opportunity to help something for a period that it will last amen Put on the volume. Turn off the light. Let's see what this one is. I want you to see the crusade because I'm going to ask you to help the crusade. Can you rewind two seconds? What does it start, Jeff? Is this... Where is this? Takarati. The crusade of Bishop Doug Hewitt Mills has been attracting thousands to come and witness okay. the healing power of Jesus Christ. From the setting up All of right. the giant so just crusade tent, soft volume, God soft. I'm talking to his people, and I'm showing you. And, and can you dim the lights a little? And old, rich and poor, as Bishop Dagwood Mills ministers powerfully under the anointing. Join us now 
for you are the next in line to receive a touch from the healing Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Now, you see, to set up this thing that you see involves a lot of money. It's, it's imagine a cathedral that sits five, ten thousand people that you are moving around from place to place with everything that it must have. Give he right now. Oh, huh? Jesus. Give he right yeah. now. Give us some volume. Oh, give he to meet your needs. To have somebody to sing, it costs money. You didn't know that. Oh, Jesus, if he right now, do you believe it? That Jesus, if he right now, I came to tell you that Jesus, if he right now, and he is he. To meet your needs, this is grace. To set the captive she's my crusade feet. singer. Oh, when she she's, she's finishes school in May, she's coming to work with us. Right Cost money, but I need her. You feel, what do you think? All hope is gone. Yeah. And the battle is already lost. And the situation where things are very so. Jesus will visit you today. He'll take the dark clouds away. Oh, Jesus is He right now. Oh, Jesus is He right now. I believe that Jesus, that He is He. Right now, I believe that he's here to meet your needs. He will set the cat free. Oh, oh, Jesus, he's here right now. If you feel that nobody cares and your life is just in the mess, and you can find peace of mind nowhere. Now, Jesus will reach to your life. Uh, He'll pick you up. Preaching. And let you stand. You will notice. Oh, Jesus, you do notice some people wearing a collar. Some elderly right people. Mm. That's a Methodist oh, bishop Jesus, of that whole region. Yeah. Right now, and the other. You see, the gentleman who is singing a plane, it's a first class, first, first class, uh, whatever, guy from computer, whatever, guy. Very, very, very clever guy. He also works for us. Costs money to have all these people. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm talking about? There was no chair left in Takradi. You couldn't get any chair. The whole town, every chair that existed was brought to the crusade. Yeah? And they said, apart from Bonkey's crusade, they have not seen this kind of crusade. Amen. So, so we need your support. And it's a great blessing to have the opportunity because you can easily not have anything to help. Yeah, you can see. A little bit tense. G- give us a bit of volume, please. Give us a bit he of volume. He's here. Okay. He's in this place. Amen. Turn off your lights a bit. Give us some bit of volume. Let me show you. Jesus, lover. 
on my soul Led me to thy bosom Fly While the near Waters roll And while the tempest still is high, hide me, oh my Savior, hide till the storm of life is past, safe into that heaven guide oh receive my soul last Other refuge have I known. Hands my helpless soul on. That's my father in law. Please don't leave me all alone. Still support and comfort me. Cover my defenseless head, Lord. you give the Lord a better clap bonsem, bonsem. The... <laughs> tonight is a night of healing 
And you say, Oh, yeah, you're a sad day. As a night of miracles, oh, yeah, I'm on your life will never be the same after tonight. Even though you may be far away outside, tonight you are the only person that Jesus sees. Let us all lift, stand to our feet and say a word of prayer. Lay your hands on your heart right now. And, and pray. I'm going to pray for you and I want you to pray for yourself as you close your eyes and believe God. Tonight. Heavenly Father, the, the, tonight as this, we come into your presence, the fair colored man on, on Lord, the right we side, ask is for the, your grace, Bishop of the Assemblies of Let God, us hide ourselves in Jesus. churches in other that refuge, region. we have none. The yes. one by him. Except you. The one you can see on the left, the Methodist. Tonight, as we stand here, the other one, the so right, many of Church us in of your Pentecost. Presence, outside and inside. Lord, have mercy on us. Amen. Touch our souls. Amen. Oh God. All right. Life. May I speak the words that you gave to me. Amen. And may the lives and the hearts of your people be changed forever. Amen. For the glory of God. Hallelujah. All right. In Just Jesus lower the volume name. and keep it up. Amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Boom. Now, so the nice. best, lower the volume on that now, please. Turn it off. I'm Just lower the volume. Keep it running. Let, let's hear the verse at least. Give us a volume. Let's hear what verse I'm teaching. I want to see what it is. Those people shall be filled tonight. How many want to be filled tonight? Hallelujah. Amen. I'm reading from John chapter 4 of a common story that you all know. In verse 7, the Bible says, There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. And Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. That's Pastor Bano, our general overseer in that region. I want you to know that Jesus does not care where you come from. He loves you whether you come from the east or the north or the west or the south. Lift your hand and say, Jesus loves me. This I know. Hallelujah. Amen. And then, the Bible said, Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Bible says, Yes, to sit Put your hand on your chest and say, Living water. It's for me. It's on me. Tonight, tonight, I receive, I receive living water, living water. And then the woman said unto him, Sir, nobody in the area. Thou hast nothing to draw with. And the well is deep from whence thou, from whence then hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? And Jesus answered unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. Whosoever drinketh of this water 
shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst again. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into eternal life. Lift your hand and say, I don't need Coca-Cola. I don't need Fanta. I need living water. I need the living water. Hallelujah. Amen. And then at the end of the chapter, his disciples came along and they asked him, Why are you talking to this woman? Have you eaten? And in verse 32, he said unto them, I have meat to eat that you know not of. Therefore the disciples said one to another, Has any man brought him out to eat? And Jesus saith unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Say not ye that are yet four months and then come at the harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look unto the fields, for they are white already unto harvest. And he that reapeth receiveth wages and gathereth fruit unto eternal life. In John chapter 4, Jesus talks about water and meat. Water and food. And he explained to us what the real waters are and what the real food is. He explained to the woman of Samaria how to get real water. But he explained to his disciples how to get real food. And that is why he said, Blessed are those that hunger and thirst after righteousness. They are hungry and they are thirsty for something else apart from natural food and natural water. They shall be filled. Tonight I came to announce to you that everyone that comes for the living water will never thirst again. This world is full of people who are thirsting after many things. And through their thirst, they are going after many, many things. There are many people who are thirsty for money. Thirst is one of the driving forces of the human being. You may fast, but you have to drink. Just a little bit of water is something that we often pray for. Many people in Tekendi Takradi are testing after money. That is all that they are testing for. But anyone who finds the money, however much it is, Jesus says that this person will be thirsty again. That is why when you find all the money you are searching for, you still feel that there is a need for something else. Because he said, whosoever shall drink of this natural water shall test again. Initially, it will look as though his test has been abated. It's outside. But Bible says, Jesus said, 
He will become thirsty again. And he will find out that even though he has drunk of this water, he still needs something else. And that is why many of the people who are very rich are still not happy. One of the one of the Times I remember in a new year some years ago, it was I think first or second January, I met a certain man. There are many ways by which people greet in the new year. New year. Happy New Year. <laughs> I think come to you. The the girls the girls will say Alon Tendi Aka for what thing? And come for what in our can that a, a black cat should not come between us this year. And come for what's not saying that mama uh it can what to jumba and tell me be off him. So I met a certain man, Monsieur Obere Mebi, and I wish him Happy New Year. Never seen that. Oh, happy year, pa. When I wish him other blessings for the year, now make kind of service to come home. He said to me, "Don't. That is not what I need." I saw kind of that. We just fun. Yeah, the man did not much. He said, "I need money this year." Hey, for for me, yes, he can't afford your salary. He said, "All that I want is money." I feel it, my man. Plan you there. Get it. But ladies and gentlemen, I came to tell you tonight that whosoever drinks of this water shall test again. But whosoever drinks of the water. That Jesus will give you. Yes, we will never test again. We will never test again. We will never test again. Yes. 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 And so this man was thirsty. It's a very many to come at him. For what could not satisfy. I met this same man later and I tried to offer him this living water and I told him that what he needs is Jesus Christ he became angry and he said who do you think you are do you think you are better than me? Why should you tell me that I need to go to church? Why should you tell me that I need to be born again? He became so angry that he wanted even to... I felt that he, if, you, if you got the chance, he would attack me. So, I told him, sir, please don't get angry. Uh, then he said to me, I said, don't quarrel with me. But he said to me, I am a gun man. I will beat you if you speak. I will beat because I'm a gun man. And so from that time, this person whom I wish happy new year, he told me that he needs money. And this same person who told me that he will fight with me if I tell, if I offer him living waters. But ladies and gentlemen, a few months later, he was admitted to the hospital. Now what you to hospital? After a few months, uh, we realized that. His sickness was not going away. He began to be afraid. And he sent a message to me. Because now he could not get out of the bed. When he was going to the hospital, his child was going to do JSS exams. And he told his child, I don't think I will come back home. Ladies and gentlemen, as he lay in the hospital, dying, he remembered 
the living waters that I offered him. Okay, in Kwesibi, I met some man, David and Chonom, and he called somebody, now Sobi, and he said, "Your bishop, I say, go for who bishop, ma'am. Go and call him for me. Go go for who bishop, ma'am." I was quarreling with him last time. But I think I need something from him now. Unfortunately, I never got the message. I was walking somewhere when I heard that he was dead. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't say. We are not talking about milk and sugar. Sardines and tinapa. We are talking about your soul. We are talking about what is that will satisfy your soul forever. Whosoever drinks of this water will never thirst again. There are many young ladies here instead of looking for the water that will make you satisfy you are looking for the waters of marriage you are looking for the waters of boyfriends and the waters of girl- girlfriends and you think that your, the waters of marriage will make you satisfied. But Jesus said, whosoever drinks of this water, yes, so will by all means be thirsty again. But whosoever drinks of the water that I will give him, he shall never thirst again. Let your hallelujah show Jesus. Jesus. I remember a certain young lady, Achimota School student. Hallelujah. All right. She was. You want to finish the message? She was thirsty for somebody's husband. Instead of concentrating on her schoolwork. And ladies and gentlemen, you can buy the CD. All right. Okay, buy the DVD. Rewind to the beginning. Just rewind the beginning. Thank you. Okay. Now, how many want to support this uh, mysterious crusade? (laughs) Will you support it? Now, it's an opportunity to support because you will not have that opportunity always. I won't always do the crusade. If you can cast your mind back two years ago, even I wasn't doing this crusade, or even three years ago, I wasn't doing this. Just if one year that we started. So w- things are wonderfully seasonal. You understand? So it's an opportunity. You know, we, our church building that we, we, we bought some years ago, we bought it for uh, $100,000. You understand? And um, it was a year long fundraising that we did to buy it then. Recently we bought another cinema hall. We didn't even raise funds. We just paid for it. You understand? So the time when your gift will mean so much changes. You understand? And so that's why. Can, can this light come on please? The one who is... Is there any light controller who can be very active and thoughtful about what is going on? You know? Thank you. Yeah. Um, so... What I feel, uh, what I, what I, what I want you to know is that to run and to have just one program involved. For instance, whilst I was here, they sent me a message from uh, Axim. Do you know where Axim is yeah. in Ghana? It's at the end of somewhere. You know, there are two gentlemen who are out there arranging meeting with the uh, Methodist bishops there, the Church of Pentecost, the other because you need the churches. That is how a crusade. It's organized. It's the churches which come together and help. And then so on. It's a political. You have to go and come and go and come and go travel up to so many places over a long time. In fact, somebody just resigned his very good job just at the end of this January to come and start that uh, job. Do you understand? And then another one, more people come in. And there's no way they can do any other job uh, than, uh, than to do it and to do it fully. And all the time, you understand. So it, each crusade costs thousands and thousands of dollars. We give out free books, you understand. So the free books are not really free in the sense that somebody has paid for it. That that's all that it means, you understand. And so I want us to support uh, the crusade 
uh, with thousands of dollars. I believe that many of us here can give uh, thousands of dollars to help the crusade. Amen. Amen. What do you think? How much do you want to give? I want, I want you to support the crusade for the rest of the year. Because I believe that just here alone we can pay all the bills. What do you think? Is it a good message? Yeah, we can just pay for help. And that's why this, uh, the video is... I mean, I didn't even know you had it here. I mean, it came along. And I think that it's a good thing. It's showing here uh, something that you can help. Amen. You see it. It's something that's real. And people are there. They are, people are being paid. They have to be paid. They have to work. You understand? It, otherwise, it will not exist. That's, what, that's how full-time came in. That without somebody being there for it, you can, because as you can see, you can only take off a week off, or two weeks off. So even if you want to help to do it, you can only come for, let's say, one week. Major, you get it? Like, you could just come for a week to help with one crusade, to do this, this, that, that. And then after that, you are gone. And so somebody else has to be paid to be there. Amen. Can I have some envelopes? Do you have any envelopes here? Now, how many here have never given a seed of $1,000 before? I mean, since you were born, you've never given a, a seed of $1,000. Stand up, please. I want to pray for you. God is going to bless you to give a seed of $1,000. All of you have never given $1,000 before. Okay. Do you, know, do you know what happens when you give a seed of $1,000? I, I need more. All these people have come to give thousand dollars soon. I need envelopes for all of them. <laughs> huh? He's not giving a thousand dollars before. He will give. Don't worry. Now listen. Everything has the first time. I haven't done this before. I've done. I haven't done this. I do. I haven't done this and I do. Do you understand? Please, don't feel under pressure. You don't have to give if you don't want to give. It's, I mean, that's why sometimes one amazing fans. I, I try to let people laugh and be happy because even if you, <laughs> even if you don't give, it will still go on, you know. Yeah. Uh, it, it will go on. So, but I'm just encouraging you. There's a first time that you have sex. Is that not so? Yeah. Zigzag. There's a first time that you pray for one hour. Is that not so? <laughs> there's a first... Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. And there's a first time... I'm going to pray about this envelope. You see, I have started a one million soul campaign. I was listening to uh, uh, Reinhard Bonke uh, talking and he was saying that that was last year that he has... That year he has led 37 million people to Christ. So I was wondering how they said, oh, we have had 37 million people printing, 30, uh, right, filling 37 million cards. Yeah. You understand? And I, I felt in my spirit that I'm going to go on a campaign to win one million souls. And so I have somebody in, 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 in Accra who has decided to print for me, uh, free of charge, those cards, one million of them. He's printed for us. That is his, also his contribution to give to us. And we are also believing God to win, rake in one million souls. And the, mis the mystery of the supporting the work is that I cannot do it without you. God humbles the preacher to have to come and almost beg, sort of, or ask, or implore, plead ask people to give. And then you also can't do without me in so many ways. Do you understand? So, in the end, we are both balanced out and we all have to come down under the mighty hand. <laughs> uh, that me without you will not be made perfect. That is how it is. So, there is a first time. How many remember the first time you had sex? How many remember the first time that you prayed... For one hour. Huh? It, wasn't easy. it wasn't easy. Pray. 
prayed for one hour. How many remember the first time you preached a sermon? First sermon. Very difficult, isn't it? But after that, it sort of works. Is that not so? Huh? I remember my first sermon. I remember my notes. How I prepared the story. This, I'll say this, and I'll read this verse, and I'll say this, and I'll read this verse. Ah, one day I was going to church and I left my notes. It was hot. I had to return. Because without the notes, I cannot. But look at me now. I'm talking to you without any notes. I'm just talking and talking and talking for hours. Do you understand? Yeah. So, there's, there's, there is, it's, it's a good thing to start something and break yourself out of a certain uh, barrier. Amen. You see, like for instance, if uh, we have to get to a point where we also give cars. Yeah, we have to have that no, no, to give a car. To somebody who has given a car before. You've given two cars. That's good. Amen. You have to give cars. Like, I've come now, you come and say, Bishop, here's a car, here's a car, here's a car. You know, you can use it for whatever you want. Give it to anybody. I, I personally don't need a car. If you give it to me, I'm, I'll find somebody or something useful to do with it. You know. What do you think? Yeah. It's mystical. <laughs> it's mystical. <laughs> it's mysterious. So, a thousand dollar seed, do you see, will open your uh, uh, financial womb matrix wider so that the next one. When my wife had her first child, Look, she went into labor in the morning or the, in the night, then to the morning. No, in the morning, all through the day, to the night, through the whole night, till the morning, till about 11 the next day. Long. Primate, that's what we call it, struggling, just struggling to open the womb and to disconnect the bones and the pelvic bones and all the ligaments and tissue which have to be loosened. <laughs> but the second child, I went to visit Dr. Nosh in the evening when, we were, when I was coming home. Where's Dr. Nosh? Oh, okay. When I was coming home, some people chased me. In the car. I didn't know who they were. They were some people in, in the Land Rover. But I've remembered my James Bond films that I've watched. And then I managed to escape. Just pass. I crossed over the other side, jumped here, moved here. This. Before they realized, they realized that I've seen one of this type of person before in a film. So they decided to leave me. The next morning, my wife went into labor. A few hours later. And so I said, oh, this one, you know, I've seen one before. I know how it goes. And so on. She was in the house when I realized that the baby was going to say, let's go quickly. We were in the car. She was about to deliver in the front of the car. I said, do not bring this baby here. <laughs> do you know that we didn't get to the hospital? We, went, we, went, we passed through the doctor's house and we got to his house where he has a small clinic in his house. He doesn't deliver babies there or anything. She had to deliver there. Well, she don't deliver in the hospital. She delivered, the, she delivered and I had to put on gloves and media because there was no, he was not expecting us. He was not expecting him. So we all did it. Everything finished and then that is it. Fast. So when the third one was coming, I said, I've seen one before. <laughs> Let's go quickly. <laughs> see that's how life is what do you see you see this one I know this <laughs> just a few weeks ago I was going to Tamale I went to Tamale for a program so when I was driving and I saw a bicycle I come in and I said this I know this I've seen one before <laughs> So, once you start something, I'm telling you, if you give 
a thousand dollar seed, it will change your financial life. I, I tell you that. I believe that. I believe that. Because you would have entered a realm spiritually. Because it's a spiritual thing. Yeah. It's a spiritual thing. You, you, you would have entered a realm that you, you've never been in before. Because there at one time, one of my pastors, I was not there, but we were doing some fundraising. Then she just made a remark. So, me, this type of giving, this, I've not done some before. I have not done that before. And when they come and they say this, this, that, and she said, me, I've never done something before. And I've always known that she's never done something before. And I've always watched how tight she is in the whole life. Always. Never given. Oh, yeah? So, may it not be said of you that you've also never done something before. Rather, open the matrix. Because it's a big seed for many of us. Sometimes almost unreachable. But we need to go beyond that. And it opens doors. It opens blessings. It, it, ble- it releases blessings. You don't even understand it. Amen. And I am sure... You, doctor, no, please play without volume. Play it but without volume. Support all these... You see, you see this little girl who is singing for me here? She's also just finished her school. Four years in university. You see, instead of going to go and work here, 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 Daddy, I want to work with you. And that's it. All that I want to do is to be, to work in the ministry and come and sing. That's all. Do you understand? But you see, you may not be able to do that, but you can help somebody to do that. It, it's a cost. There's a guy who is playing the keyboard. He's a very clever guy. Same thing. I got all my people from uh, university. Pastor Johnny was the first. I go poaching in school. <laughs> I go poaching in the school, university. That's why I get people. People are more expensive and valuable than money or equipment. If you value people, you will have a very great thing. One human being is worth more than any amount of computers or equipment that you have. Yeah. See what he's playing there. Huh? What is what are they singing? Little volume, please. Right now. Oh, Jesus is here. Oh, he is gently, near gently, gently, gently. To Sing to them so that they will be calm. They can give. I, I believe that there are about 200 people here at the camp. 190. I, I feel that 190 of us can give a thousand dollars. To pay for the, just for the crusades. Healing Jesus crusade. Any soul that is won, you are in it. Easy. Because God has, sorry, God has done it in such a way God has done it in such a way that no matter what I say, Papa, Papa, I need you. I need your money. I need your dollars. I need your input for the thing to work. Simple and short. That's why nobody is allowed to be proud. And God doesn't like it when people are proud. He doesn't like it at all. Because you need somebody. Kenneth, you are going to Ghana, isn't it? Plant a seed before you go. Plant a seed. So you did it. Yeah. I remember... I remember when I was in London, I had been in London for about a year, and then it was time to, I had to go back to Ghana. I had one thing that was valuable to me. And the Lord said to me, Give it away. It is one of the very significant, memorable seeds that I ever gave, because it was all that I had. And it was a brand new, the only thing that I had bought out by the Brand new workman, those days, 20 something years ago, it cost 70 pounds. That was, I didn't have anything. My shoes were spoiled. My, this, not, I had not been working. And I was struggling. But of course, I, for, for various reasons, 
And then the Lord said, Give it. I said, This is not the right thing or fair. It's not a fair suggestion. You see, it's not a fair suggestion. And so I, I did decide to do it. And I called my friend Danny. And I said, Danny, I want you. And he knew what it was. When I gave, he said, You can't do that. It's not right. I said, Will you take it? Because I believe. I left the last thing that I had and walked out of there. Penniless. Broke. With nothing. And the only thing that was of value to me. Everybody has what is valuable. You ladies, you have your cooking pot, your dresses, your things. You have and so on. That is what was valuable to me. But God made me put what was valuable there. But he has blessed me. In fact, as I left London, I hated the place. I hated the place. Because I left so so painfully broke but I planted a seed God has blessed me so all of you who have never done it before including the students this da 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 we don't have this we don't have this I want to challenge you and suggest to you and try to lead you because your thousand dollars wouldn't make much difference. I, I want you to understand. I, I'm doing it for you. Gently on the sound, please. He'll turn your life around. He'll pick you up and he'll let you stand. What do you think? Is it a good idea? Sit down. Huh? You have a testimony. Yeah. Major, I need you to say something first. Come. You see, when we were having breakfast, Major was, uh, Kennel was telling us something. He was telling us that. He was telling us uh, about, listen, you listen to this. Relax, everybody relax. He was telling us about when he went to um, this place, Congo. Uh, tell us just two of those, uh, this thing. Hello. I'm a very shy oh, young man, oh. so I don't try. <laughs> so, um, I was I was in Congo um, last year, two, 2003. Yeah, no, two, 2003. Yes, and I was posted into a village called Ikela very far away and I say all the time that the poverty in that place you haven't seen some anywhere before don't even try and imagine that you have seen some in Ghana or anywhere not Sierra Leone I mean that place was very far and when I arrived there I tried to locate a church and I found a church they had done it with mud um, and because I wanted to improve my French, I said at this church I will go, whether I hear or I don't hear. Sunday I can't stay at home, I must just go to church. I'll just go and sit there whether I hear or not. So I started going there. And in that village there are only two vehicles, two United Nations cars, one of which I was the driver. <laughs> so on Sunday I'll go to church and I sit at the back. Immediately I arrived there, they knew that uh, an Obroni had come. <laughs> then, on one of those occasions... I can, can you turn off your phones, please? You know, we are going to be here for just a few minutes. Then we'll get out of here, please. I heard the pastor raising funds. I mean, now my French had started improving, so I could hear the agent and the things were, were raising funds. You would speak French, and then they would translate into Lingala. Raising funds, hard one, and that was they were trying to build windows for the for the madhouse. And the window, they just cut some trees, some wood, and then manufacture some, fabricate some kind of window. And it was they were raising funds because they needed to raise the wall also to a point before they, and they couldn't get the money. So. After I went to the pastor with my interpreter and asked that, how much money are you trying to do? And he said, 15, the equivalent of 15 United States dollars. One five. 
For weeks they had been trying to raise funds. So I told the pastor, don't do this again. So I paid the 15 and they managed to put some windows on there. The next time they were raising funds again, the pastor had to attend pastor's conference in another city and he had to ride on his bike 10 days through the forest to the other city. And he needed money so that he could survive the route and pay his camp fee. So he started. They were raising funds. They said, so I took my interpreter again. I said, what is the pastor looking for? He said, the pastor has to go this afternoon and he needs $20. 20 and, and he was supposed to, and he had not even raised one. I mean, he had received some local currency, but he had not, it had not even come to one dollar. So I said, stop. So I went, and I got what he needed, and more for the road. And it didn't come to anything. I mean, it was some, it was change, actually. But it was so much. And these people, they were preaching. When you go into that church and they are doing praise and worship, it is nice. They are Lingala songs and they can dance oh, and they, they can do the waste works. Have you seen the French people dancing? They are waste. Eh? And they shake it, you yourself, you'll be happy. Well, so, now, now listen, the point that I want you to notice here is that this $15 you see, most of us can give, but we don't have an opportunity to give $15 at that place where the guy needs $15 in that town somewhere there. So you, 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 although there is, you have $15 and there is a need of $15, $10, you don't have the opportunity to give it. And we can have $15, but you just wouldn't have anywhere where $15 can I mean, you, you will give your $15. And that's what I'm saying that a time may come that I wouldn't be standing here holding envelopes that give this, give this for a crusade or for this or to help or whatever, you know. But whenever I'm studying something, I always remember that particular time that we gave the money to buy those instruments at the beginning, I particularly remember. And I think it was a blessing. And now I just want, I just want you to help to just pay for the crusade. And I want you to believe God. I believe that all of us here, as a spiritual effort, in spite of whatever your situation is, and believe God, personally, you will give 1,000 US dollars as a special seat. And say, Bishop, we, we are not bishops, we are not anything, but yeah. use it to preach. And then use it to pay people. And use it to buy petrol. To fill one of our tanks, the truck, when it's going like this, two million cities. Just to fill it. One way like this. And we are going with about five trucks before the cars. Yeah, to fill one. After what well, somebody said he wanted to fill, they took the car to the petrol station. In fact, I think he, he was a bit worried about the decision that he had taken. He said he wanted to fill on that. Because to fill just to fill the tank was two million cities. Diesel. And you have one, two, three, four, five of them. Different, different things. You see, before the cars and the smaller trucks. That's not the cost of the cars and the trucks and so on. You see. So, you are giving to help. And I believe that there are many of you who can do that. Amen. Amen. So, I would like some people to maybe you want to give 5,000, want to give 10,000. 10,000. So that's also another thing. You have to get a piece, so you give 5,000. You give 10,000. One day some people came to preach in our church and the Lord said, look, don't give an offering of below this amount to these people who come and preach again. Yes, don't, don't behave that way. It's like there comes a time God raises your level of certain things. Yeah. And if you, when you raise it, you enter a class in a certain realm. Amen. So there are those who need to enter the realm of 5,000 and then ten thousands. What do you think? Is it a good message? Yeah. 
And I want you to enter realms today. Amen. 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 Father, thank you for your blessing and the great opportunity that we have to give. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. 5,000, 10,000. I want you to count for my envelope. We want to give 5,000, 10,000 for the healing Jesus crusade. Is there anybody? <laughs> 5,000, 10,000. When people came to Ghana, they gave 5,000. There were quite a few of our, our American brethren. They want to give five. Did you not give 5,000 the last time when you came to Ghana? Did you come for homecoming? Your husband came. All right. God bless you. You are sure you want to give 5,000? I want to think about it. You are sure? Well, discuss with your husband. Anybody else? Don't give 5,000. Just take it out and say, Bishop, God bless you. It's two years since you came here to come and talk a lot. So, God bless you. Give it. You will be blessed. I, I'm a writing. I need, I need some more people who are going to help. 5,000. Are you raising your hand or you are writing something? Oh, you are writing. I thought you were raising your hand. <laughs> One brother, I was in Switzerland, raising funds. You know, he always, I always use him as an example. I have two examples there. You know. He never gave. But when his mother died, he came and spent about ten, fifteen thousand, in the funeral, buying gimmicks, this for people. This. So I said, because I, I asked, how much did you spend on the funeral? And he mentioned it. I said, wow. Many of us here who cannot give, when something like that happens, you see how you start spending. Is it not a wonderful thing? Yeah? You think of all of you who have relatives. When something and you see how you come up with easy. Huh? All right. Five thousand. Is there anybody else? Or ten thousand. Maybe I I didn't go high enough. Ten (laughs) thousand. It's good. I told you yesterday I was going to raise but I wanted you to go in case you didn't want to come for the fundraising. But I believe it's a blessing. How many have already decided what you give? No matter what I say. <laughs> are you surprised that I know what you are thinking? <laughs> it's also a mysterious thing. God bless you. Last person. You are thinking, should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? God bless you for crusades. God bless you, sister, for crusades. God bless you. One more. There's one more. You are not the one more. There was one more. Now, there's not a mortgage. Don't forget. It's something that I want you to just give. Amen. 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 Just give it. Sacrifice and pay. You know, just like how people take loans to go and buy almost anything. Take loans to travel to wherever. Sacrifice and pay. Amen. Who's the last person? Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? Pardon? This week. I didn't get your question. When do you want to pay by? When do you think it should be paid by? When? When it's reasonable? Oh, no, 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 no. We are not doing any month. Thing. That's a mortgage. Six months a mortgage. I, I don't like mortgage fundraising. I have to call you, ring you, fight you, this, that. And when we ring you, say, answer machine, you call back, this, that, whatever, out of coverage area. <laughs> Samson gave 5,000 for the crusade. Is that, is that not so when he came to Ghana? Yeah. He supported a crusade with $5,000. It 
God bless you. Yeah. And I want, I want you to also be part of it. Who's the last person? I think there's just one more. Pardon? I've not answered the question. Two weeks, a week, two weeks. I mean, a week or two weeks is the same as now. So now is now, one week, two weeks, around now. Uh, it's not something that will be expected, you know, in the future. Even if you have to get a bit over, take something, bring, you see, it's a blessing. Any problem? Are you bringing it now? Oh, okay. God bless you, brother. Thank you. Azaria, let me pray for you. Bless Azaria, Lord. Bless him. And remember him, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Is that it? Oh, that is it. Which one is it? Careful. One, they all, the empty and the full look the same. Is it the right one? Okay. Who's the last one? Okay, now touch the person next to you. Listen, as a person, listen. If it's you, just own up. (laughs) 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 All right. All right. <laughs> Listen, do you, do, you, do you people love me? Yes. Then help me. Yes. Remember what Jesus said? If you love me, obey my commandments. If you love me, feed my sheep. It's the same thing. If you love me, help me. Uh-huh. Advice is different from help. Smiles are different from help. <laughs> Clapping are different from helping. Do you understand? Sorry. Uh, saying nice words are different from help. If you love what we are doing, you see us doing it, help it. Uh-huh. Amen. Who's the last person? I feel that there's just one more person on that. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep your envelope here. The last person is here. I feel that there's somebody here like that. 5,000. Okay. Anybody for 2,000, 500, 2,000, anything that is not 1,000? Because 1,000 is whatever. How much do you want to give? 2,000. God bless you, my sister. Come. Come for it. Come for them. I'm giving you the envelope myself. What's your name again? Susan. Bless you. I feel like praying for you. Can I? Bless Susan, Lord. Bless her life. Getting married soon. Okay. Good marriage, huh? Good marriage, okay? Amen. 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 Else? Give freely. Maggie, freely give. <laughs> Who is that? You, you came for two thousand. Come back. I'll pay for you. Anybody else? Now, all of us must believe God for. I mean, well. Try to trust God to break the womb, the financial womb, so that you've done it before. That's all. You've done it before. When you've done it before, it, it, it's a new thing. And then you also break it to our own self. Right? But all of us, the only time we take this money are there.
magic word I should say that would make you come. <laughs> I'm raising funds for my crusade. Should I continue? Yeah. Two thousand. If I have ten people to that Play, play, play the song, play. <laughs> Dim your lights a little. I need a light man to bear your Jesus lover on my soul. Let me to thy bosom. While the near waters roll, and while the tempest still is high, hide me all. See, not every pianist can play what the guy is playing. That's why you see, you know, sometimes you, you see somebody is doing something, you don't know. Maybe you are not in that field. You may not know what it takes to do that.